In this video, we're going to take a look at promises. Promises have become an integral part of Node.js and JavaScript in general, and we're going to take a look at how you can utilize them within Profound.js to speed up your application uh, by as much as fivefold or tenfold or even more. So, in this particular example, we're going to be utilizing the U.S. Post Office verification, address verification, or cleansing uh, service. So, it's a web service that we're going to be calling out to. I've set up a simple screen that's got two subfiles. On the left hand side here, we've got um, the original order information with addresses displayed. And then once we clean that address or verify that address, we're going to show the cleansed version of the address, um, you know, showing what that new address is going to look like the way that the, that the post office wants to see it. So this is the screen. One thing that you will note is that I had specifically matched up the field names that I have on my screen so they match up both to the database that, that I have of my orders and also it matches to the fields that are expected by uh, this web service that we're going to be using. Um, so now let's take a look at the code of the application. So here's the code that we're going to be working with and um, in this particular case we're going to be concentrating on just this routine right here, the loop right here that cleanses the order address information. But before we get into it, let me just kind of explain every, everything else uh, that's in this file. So let me scroll up and start at the very top. So you can see that some of the very first lines bring in an NPM package called USPS Web Tools. Uh, this is a package that's available out there that just allows you to call out to the post uh, office uh, web tool service. And basically it has routines like one to verify an address. Next, what we have is the permissify function. So permissify is something that turns anything uh, in Node, any asynchronous um, API in Node, into a promise, a Node.js promise. And if you have Node.js 8 or above, then this is the line that, that's required. So this is, just comes part of the util um, package, which is already built into Node. Now, if you're not at that level of Node.js, you would simply replace uh, the line with this uh, line right here, and you'd have to bring in a special package uh, called permissify-es6. So if you're not at that level, you'll, you'll need that line of code instead. Uh, next, what we're doing, this next line, is we're taking the post office verify function, and we're turning it into a function that returns a promise instead. So instead of executing and going out and verifying the address, it just creates a promise to do this. Uh, the, the code here just basically says we're going to permissify or turn it into a promise or into a function that returns a promise. Uh, we're going to permissify this usbs.verify function. And a lot of times this is all that's necessary, but sometimes you, know, you don't know the internals of the code within the verify function and you want to specify what the parent object is. So to be complete in our implementation, it's always very good to add this other line or this other part to the line which is the dot bind USBS that just uh, tells the permissify function what the parent object is. And if you do this, then you know that this is a complete implementation. You've got a promise. Now, when you have a promise, again, this is not something that executes the functionality right away. You actually need to execute on that promise. And within Profound.js, we have a function called pjs.fiber.runpromise. This is the function right here. And we're just creating a little shortcut to run that promise. So this is the basic setup, and now let's look at the actual code. So the code is very simple. Of course, we first define our display, the address cleansing display, which is in, in a separate JSON file. And then we're calling out to um, the database through an SQL statement, and we're fetching, uh, in this particular example, we're fetching 20 records. And immediately, we're adding those records to our first grid. So because we've matched up the field names, that's all that's necessary. We're adding those records immediately uh, after they're fetched. Now here we've got a timer. So we're going to time the start time. So we're going to measure how long this process takes. And of course, at the end, we've got the end time. Uh, and then we can see how, how long um, the elapsed time is. Of course, when it's all done, when the cleansing has taken place, and of course the cleansing just loops to the orders, uh, then we add uh, the records uh, to the second grid and we show the screen. So that's the uh, that's the program 
And of course, we're going to be concentrating on improving this process right here. This process currently loops through all the orders. And for each one of the orders, it calls the verify routine. Of course, the routine only returns a promise. And then we execute on that promise immediately using the run promise. And that gives us the cleansed address. And we push it onto the list, which eventually goes onto our grid. Uh, so this is the current code. Let's go ahead and execute it, and we'll see what, uh, what that looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and call my cleanse program. And you'll notice here that this is going to take a few seconds, and this is what we're going to improve upon. So this has taken um, just a few seconds to process all the orders. Uh, in fact, uh, this has taken 7.7 uh, 7, uh, seconds, or you know, 7,700 milliseconds. And this is just to process 20 orders. So you can see the, the output here. So we've got the original order address and then the cleansed address. So you know, there's some changes here. You know, it's adding the road and it's adding the street adding the information that the post office seems uh, appropriate in there in the way that they use and display addresses. So here's all the processed orders. Now let's look at how we can improve this by tapping into the asynchronous nature of Node.js. And so we're going to go back to the code. Um, and what we're going to do is instead of running this promise right away, so we're going to eliminate this right here, we're simply going to push to the list, not the results of the promise uh, when it's ran, but the promise itself. So this ultimately gives us a list of promises. And then Node.js in JavaScript has something called promise.all, which takes a list of promises and turns it into one promise and basically executes all of this at the same time, all of the promises at the same time. So if we promise.all, the entire list, that gives us a new promise, which we can then run, and the results are going to come back into our main list. So by adding that line of code, what we've done is we've told Node.js to run all 20 web services requests asynchronously at the same time instead of sequentially in order. So let's go ahead and save this, and we'll go back to the application and run it again. So I'm going to go ahead and run it. And you can see that in this case, uh, it ran in 482 milliseconds, so a lot faster. This is like a 15 or 20 fold improvement in how, how much quicker it has, it has processed uh, all the orders. And this is the power of Node.js that it allows you to do things like that. So we've processed 20 uh, orders in less than a half a second. So that's the, what I wanted to show you, uh, the use of promises and how you can use it in Profound.js to significantly increase the performance of your applications.